This video is sponsored by the Crazy Kings of Toys. Come visit their website and see why they are so crazy. Hello everybody, Tony Bears here again, and this is Off the Toy Shelf, a toy review show. And in this episode of Off the Toy Shelf, I'm going to be talking about Black Lantern Hal Jordan and Green Lantern Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan is a courageous test pilot who one day was summoned to the crashed spaceship of a fatally wounded alien named Aban Sur. Just before his death, Aban Sur told Hal that his ring selected him from everyone on Earth for his fearlessness, strong will, and honesty to become a member of the Green Lantern Corps, a group of intergalactic peacekeepers. As Green Lantern, Hal uses his power ring, which has the ability to construct anything that Hal can imagine simply through the power of his will, to defend our world as well as the entire space sector of 2814. During the Blackest Night storyline, Hal was momentarily changed into a Black Lantern by the Black Lantern Spectre. Black Lanterns are zombie-like beings that have the ability to see the emotional state of others and feed on that emotion. They charge their rings by removing the hearts of their victims and turning the organs into energy that can be absorbed by the rings. Black Lanterns seek to eliminate all life. Hal Jordan appeared in Super Friends, Justice League, Duck Dodgers, voiced by Kevin Smith, Green Lantern First Flight, Green Lantern Emerald Knights, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, Justice League New Frontier, Justice League Doom, Batman Brave and the Bold, Young Justice, Green Lantern The Animated Series, and <sighs> the Green Lantern movie. And now, on with the review. So here is Green Lantern Hal Jordan in his package. Hal is posed in a nice action pose holding his lantern battery. On the card behind him is artwork of the other figures in this way. The artwork is done in a way that makes the card look like it's a page right out of the comic and Hal is jumping right off the page. The entire figure as well as his lantern battery accessory is easily seen through this nice clear bubble, which is great for in-package collectors. At the top is the DC Universe logo. And at the bottom on the right is the Choking Hazard warning. And below that it says World's Greatest Superheroes Green Lantern. And you have to be at least four years old to have this figure. And on the left is some nice artwork of the Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. When you turn the package to the side, you can see a nice photo of the figure on the left and on the right. It informs you that it includes a figure stand. And the exact same thing is on the other side. On the back of the package at the top left is Green Lantern's biography. And on the right is a nice photo of the figure. Below his biography is Green Lantern's statistics. And at the very bottom is artwork of all the figures in this wave with Green Lantern highlighted in green. Now here we have Black Lantern Hal Jordan in his package. Black Lantern Hal is posed looking very angry as if he is about to jump out of this package and attack you. The entire figure is easily seen through this clear bubble which is great for in-package collectors. On the card behind the figure is artwork of other DC characters. At the top is the DC Universe logo. At the bottom of the package it says Classics, and on the right it says Black Lantern Hal Jordan Wave 17 Figure 6 Adult Collector. And on the left is the Black Lantern logo. When you turn the package to the side, you can see it says includes your collect and connect figure piece, and it tells you which piece that is, and it's the head and lower torso of the Anti-Monitor. And it says the exact same thing on the other side. At the back of the package, at the top right, is Hal Jordan's biography, and on the left is a nice photo of the figure. Below his biography is Black Lantern Hal Jordan's statistics. And at the bottom, on the left, is all the figures in the wave, and on the right is the collect and connect figure, the anti-monitor. Now let's free these Hal Jordans from their plastic prisons.
Okay, here is a look at the green and black Hal Jordans out of their package. And looking at their sculpt, both of them are sculpted well. Both of them have the standard DC Universe Classics body. But what makes them unique are their heads and rings. The Green Lantern Hal Jordan's head sculpt is good, but it's kind of plain. The Black Lantern Hal Jordan head is also well sculpted. It's much more unique. He has a very angry expression on his face. The downfall to this is he has a permanent look of rage. He always looks like he is screaming. He kind of looks like he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> because of this, you'll never pose him in a more casual pose. For example, you cannot pose him relaxed or having a casual conversation. You'll never be able to pose him having afternoon tea. <laughs> the Green Lantern Hal Jordan Power Ring sculpt is very lacking. It's too small and the sculpt is not that good. On the other hand, the Black Lantern Hal Jordan's Power Ring seems to be the perfect size. And it is very well sculpted. I am amazed at how much detail is put into something that is so small. On the back of the Green Lantern Hal Jordan, you can see a rectangular shaped piece stuck in his back. I assume that this is placed here to replace a hole that is made to attach a cape for characters who have capes. I think that Mattel could have done a better job with this. As you can see, the Black Lantern Hal Jordan does not have this. The Black Lantern Hal Jordan was made later on, so you can tell that Mattel had fixed this problem. So overall, both figures are well sculpted, but. The Black Lantern Hal Jordan clearly has a better quality sculpt. And looking at the paint, both figures are painted well. Now taking a look at Green Lantern Hal Jordan's head, I don't know if you could tell from the video, but it is really shiny. Now, I don't know if it's the plastic or the paint that Mattel used, but it's way too shiny for my taste. It makes it look like Hal has really greasy hair. What I really like about how they painted his hair is that it's not just one color. You've got some browns, some blacks, which makes it look realistic. Taking a look at the Black Lantern Hal Jordan head, you can see it's not as shiny. And he also has the different colors of brown and black in his hair. As you can see, my Black Lantern Hal Jordan figure has this little black mark on his chin. Now this isn't a mistake by Mattel, it's my own fault. It's just a little scuff mark. Whenever my figures get these marks, I always say it's just a mole. The Green Lantern Hal Jordan has some really nice shading on the green parts of his costume, especially around the abs. It looks really nice. Unfortunately, the Black Lantern Hal Jordan doesn't have any shading. Unfortunately, like most of the figures in this line, Green Lantern Hal Jordan's boots are not sculpted, rather they are painted on. The Green Lantern Hal Jordan's gloves are also just painted on rather than being sculpted, and as you can see there is also some bleeding as well. The Black Lantern Hal Jordan's boots, as well as his gloves, are also just painted on rather than being sculpted. However, the Black Lantern Hal Jordan's paint is much cleaner. Underneath Green Lantern Hal Jordan's arm, it is painted green, where it should be painted black. And there's also some bleeding here. And I understand that it's painted this way because of the ball-jointed shoulder, but I think Mattel could have done a better job. The Black Lantern Hal Jordan figure's underarm has the same issue. However, just like the boots and gloves, it has a much cleaner paint job. Neither of these figures have collars. There is no point at which their costume ends and their neck begins. The costume goes all the way up to the head, and this can look very strange at some angles. Both of the logos on the characters' chests look excellent. Each one is very clean, and they both look very nice. So overall, both figures' paint jobs are good. However, the Black Lantern Hal Jordan clearly has a better quality paint job. For articulation, Green Lantern Hal Jordan's head can go up, down, it tilts from side to side, and it goes all the way around. He has a ball jointed shoulder that goes out and in and all the way around. His bicep swivels and it goes all the way around. His arm has a single joint at the elbow and it bends like that. His wrist swivels and it goes all the way around. He has an ab crunch joint that goes forward and back. 
He has a waist swivel that goes all the way around. He has a hinge joint at the hip that goes out and in and back and forth. His leg swivels at the thigh and it goes all the way around. He has a single jointed knee that bends like that. He has an ankle joint that bends back and forward. The Black Lantern Hal Jordan has the exact same articulation and his head goes up and down and all the way around. And it also tilts from side to side. He has a bowl jointed shoulder that goes out and in and all the way around. He has a bicep swivel that goes all the way around. He has a single jointed elbow that bends like that. His wrist swivels and it goes all the way around. He has an ab crunch joint that bends down and back. He has a waist swivel that goes all the way around. He has a hip joint that moves out and in and back and forth. He has a thigh swivel that goes all the way around. He has a single knee joint that bends like that. He has an ankle joint that bends forward and back. Both these figures have some nice articulation and you can get some really good poses out of them. The Black Lantern Hell Jordan comes with two accessories. Those being the head and lower torso of the Anti-Monitor. The Green Lantern Hal Jordan comes with two accessories, the first being his power battery. And his power battery can fit into his left hand like so. The power battery itself does have some articulation. The handle moves all the way around. The power battery is sculpted well, but I think it should have been painted a darker, more metallic green color, more like this power ring here. Green Lantern Hal Jordan's second accessory is this translucent blue figure stand. It has a peg right here and it has the DC Universe logo on the bottom. Green Lantern Hal Jordan has the peg holes at the bottom of his feet. You simply place the figure on the peg and there you go. The downfall to this figure stand is that it is very loose and it easily falls off. So overall, the accessories are okay. They're kind of lacking, and I could have done with at least a couple of constructs for Green Lantern. Comparing Green Lantern and Black Lantern Hal Jordan with each other, they have the exact same body, but Black Lantern Hal Jordan is a little bit taller because of the hair. Comparing Green and Black Lantern Hal Jordan to other DC Universe classic figures like Bronze Tiger and Toy Man, you can see that they share the same body with Bronze Tiger, so they are close to the same size. Compared to Toy Man, you can see that Toy Man is taller and thinner than the Black and Green Lantern Hal Jordans. As you can see by comparing Green and Black Lantern Hal Jordan with Captain America, they fit in well with other 6 inch scale toy lines. Comparing Green Lantern Hal Jordan to the Kenner Superpowers Green Lantern, you can see they are similar in sculpt and paint with some minor differences. So overall, both Green and Black Lantern Hal Jordans are good figures. But Black Lantern Hal Jordan is a better quality figure. It has better paint and sculpt. However, personally, I prefer the Green Lantern Hal Jordan simply because he is the classic Green Lantern Hal Jordan. And this is DC Universe Classics after all. But if you're someone who prefers quality and if you're a fan of the Blackest Night storyline, I highly recommend the Black Lantern Hal Jordan. Whichever one you prefer is a matter of personal taste, but I recommend both figures. So my final grade for Black Lantern Hal Jordan is a solid B. And my final grade for Green Lantern Hal Jordan is a B plus. I got this figure from my good buddies at the crazy kings of toys dot com. They have toys from Marvel, DC, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Lego, Monster High, My Little Pony, Masters of the Universe, Star Wars, Littlest Pet Shop, Doctor Who, Dragon Ball Z, and many more. Visit their website at www.crazykingsoftoys.com. Remember that's a crazy with a K. Come find out why they are so crazy. I'm Tony Beers, and I'll see you next time.